Where's your stick gone, Reg? Get your stick. Get your stick. It's here. Yeah, get your stick. What's this? I'm a bit late in pulling the phone out for the vlog today, folks, but uh, better late than never. It's just rolled over to four o'clock. I've just been, you know, cracking on and finishing the job today. So I'll just remove the protective cover from this. As you can see, we're pulling 19 amps on the HLT. So I've just set the HLT. The HLT pump is running, as you can hear, indicated by this light here. Uh, to recirculate the tank to give us an even temperature, but yeah, I've uh, I've set the HLT to go to 13 degrees Just to make sure that this ink bird is running as it should and We can trust it There we go. It's just cut out and then cut back on again, so we can trust it to control the temperature in the HLT when nobody's here, effectively. Uh, also, I did change out the LED strip for the HLT and turns out this one isn't a white light, it's an RGB, so I've just bridged out the terminals on, you know, you've got 12 volts in and then you've got your, the three other negative legs across, um, what, blue, green and red or whatever it is and this seems to be slightly blue bias but we can see the little flotation device in there I used to indicate the height so that's fine I've tested the water meter that works I've tested the um, all the pumps they all work I've had to put the boil pump on a fly lead simply because I need a 12 volt relay to go in the box and I don't have one so we'll have a look at that later on. There we go, she's just at 13 degrees and she's overshooting. So let's just give it 10 minutes and we'll see, we'll see how it plays out. Yeah so I need a 12 volt relay and on occasion I do put it on a timer separately so I can just unplug this here and plug it into the bottom of the panel or I can use that little fly lead so a few things to screw back on the wall which I'll probably do tomorrow now and then heck of a lot of tidying up heck of a lot of tidying up but I'm really happy it all looks so much neater so much more professional and it is without a doubt so much safer thanks to all of the well, I say so much safer. The previous one was safe, but it didn't have the fail safes that I've incorporated into this. There was an RCD on the circuit. It was just all the way over there at the main fuse box. So now I've just brought further RCD protection, as I've explained, into the panel. And we've tidied the electrics up on here, put stuff in trunking. You know, as the months and years progress, and finances come in which well we're about to see some massive price increases so we might have to wait a little bit but I'm gonna incrementally go around and replace all of the all of the electrics and uh, swap out some of the pre-existing stuff like 
the cables that were up there for the lights and you know put most things either on cable trays or in trunking because everything's clipped direct at the moment we'll get there it'll be a long slog but always innovating always improving one thing i have done though i've got rid of the tacky switch that i had on the boil pump here and i've incorporated an ip66 tactile switch so we can turn the boil off at the uh, the boil pump we can turn the boil pump off in place uh, so when we want to open a valve or something we can just do that here I better put well I don't need to put on and off actually you're gonna bloody hear it aren't you um, yeah so that is controlled in here as well once it's plugged in but as I said it does need that um, that 12 volt relay so at the moment we can switch it on and off there switch it on and off there I know it's like only an arm's reach why don't you just switch the plug socket off but I just wanted that switch on there I just think it's a lot more um, yeah it just it's better it's better so that's what we've done uh, alright we're up to 14 degrees so this is definitely overshooting I hope it's gonna learn might come back in 15 minutes to see exactly what it's doing. I've uh, got a little bit to do, and then I'll be uh, I'll be going home. I decided to kill it. Uh, it shot up to 16 degrees, so that's three degrees over. Then it just stopped, and I was going to put it into auto tune, but I decided not to in the end because I'm not going to be here that long, and I didn't want to stop it halfway through. And it says auto tune at the temperature you want to, you know, use it at closest to the temperature you want to use it at. So that's what I've decided to do. Instead, we'll wait until we, uh, well, I've probably got too much water in there, to be honest. I don't need 300 litres to do it. I'll probably take some of that water out, take it down to about 200 litres. And then we'll give it a whirl at 80 degrees and set auto tune up while I can be here for the day. And yeah, it's going to cost in electricity, but it's peace of mind and it's set properly, then, isn't it? So the next thing I've got to do is stick this hose pipe back on the wall. I'm actually thinking about. Uh, I kind of want to get rid of that. It's not what I want, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass, a bit bulky. Looks a lot better without it being there, but we do need we do need a hose pipe, so it's one of those things unfortunately. Maybe I can relocate it. We can have it somewhere else. Who knows? That's all a decision for another day. Not today, because I've had enough. So I'm gonna go home early for once. It's only half past four. Sod it. I'm gonna go home and crack open a nice can of Secret City and cook myself a chicken curry. Oh yeah. Gemma said it's not a great shot with her cleaning the cooker, so I guess there's gonna be no um, video of me cooking a curry or anything, so she saved you that painful viewing, if nothing else. But uh, just to sign off, there's a crystal clear proof of concept. And Gemma, doing some housework, now get that fucking pan on. And it don't, does it? Because it don't fit, does it? Get the pan on. Uh, see you on the next one, folks. £10 off Amazon. Worth every penny.